Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users on how to set up some outdoor lighting. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have seen from the architectural pre-visualization in Maya course. Now there are numerous ways we can set up some great outdoor sitting lighting and what process we use really depend on what look we're going for. So for example, in this particular scene, I have just a simple directional light and also have final gathering turned on. So if I were to come in and just render this out, we can see the result that we get gives us uh, really great uh, mood lighting. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's take a look at some other techniques we can use. Now, one of those techniques is called image-based lighting, or IBL. So to set that up, I come into my render settings. And under the indirect lighting tab, make sure we're using mental ray to render, we can create image-based lighting. So I'll just click on the Create button. And then if we hop over into our Attribute Editor, we can see all these different options. So uh, in this particular case, we want to set up an image. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Browse. And I have an HDR image here that I can go ahead and choose. OK, so let's go ahead and render this out and see what it looks like with our image-based lighting. OK, great. We can see the result that we get back. It's giving us some very different looks from before. Now, because a mental ray is going to be using the HDR image as a light source, we can get some really cool, really different looks depending on what the actual HDR image is that we're using. Now, the last technique I'd like to mention is a very powerful feature in mental ray called physical sun and sky. Okay, so I'm going to save this out as our image based lighting render. Let's go back into our render settings, and once again, under the indirect lighting tab, there is physical sun and sky. Let's go ahead and hit create. And I'm just going to go ahead and render this out with the physical sun and sky applied. And we can see that once again, we get some very different results from using our image based lighting. Okay, and what's cool about the physical sun and sky is we can come in, we have all these different options to adjust. Say if we wanted to uh, adjust the red blue shift to help it kind of match the background image a little bit. We can see that that has adjusted the results that we get in our render. So really it boils down to what look you need for your projects and that can determine what technique you use in order to light your scene. But those are just a couple techniques we could utilize in order to get some great outdoor city lighting very quickly. Now if you want to learn how to set up this specific scene here, check out the architectural pre-visualization in Maya course.